ChatGPT has taken the tech world by storm showcasing artificial intelligence AI with conversational capacities that extend far beyond anything we've seen ever before. The viral chatbot interface is grounded on GPT-3, said to be one of the largest and most complex language models ever created, trained on 175 billion parameters or data points. Still, it's commodity of an open secret that its creator, the AI Exploration Association OpenAI, is well into the development of its successor, GPT-4. Rumor has it that GPT-4 will be far more powerful and able than GPT-3. One source indeed stated that the parameter count had been up to the region of 100 trillion. Although this has been disputed in various language by Sam Altman, OpenAI CEO. But could it be the case that GPT-4 is formerly among us? Well, nothing has been blazoned for certain, but some have suspected that this is the interpretation powering the recently launched ChatGPT functionality within Microsoft Bing's Hunt machine. Although unanticipated, it's a claim that makes sense, given that the Seattle tech mammoth lately became OpenAI's largest single shareholder, with a $10 billion investment. So, how is GPT-4 different from what came before it? Here's what we know so far. GPT-4 will be released sometime this year. Although, as of making this video, nothing has been announced to the public. Multiple outlets, including the New York Times, have reported that rumors are rife around the tech industry that GPT-4 is ready for release and is likely to see the light of day outside of OpenAI's exploration laboratories within this year. In fact, as stated, some believe that it's formerly here in the form of the Converse functionality lately added to Bing. Currently, people have to join a waiting list to get access to ChatGPT-powered Bing, but Microsoft has said it plans to open it to millions of people before the end of February. If this turns out to be nonsense and Bing is in fact running on plain old GPT-3 or GPT-3.5, an updated version released last year, then we may have to wait a little longer. GPT-3 was originally made available to selective partners, users who paid, and academic institutions before it became extensively available to the public, with the launch of ChatGPT in late 2022. And an analogous controlled release may be used with GPT-4. It might not be trained on much further data than GPT-3. Again, this is unconfirmed, but it seems likely to be a safe bet. Altman himself has dismissed the idea that it's trained on 100 trillion parameters as complete bullshit. But some sources are claiming that it could be over to 100 times greater than GPT-3, which would put it in the region of 17 trillion parameters. However, Altman has also been on record saying it may not in fact be much larger than GPT-3. This is because effort may instead be put into improving its ability to utilize existing data rather than simply throwing more and more data at it. Some experts have refocused to the fact that a rival large language model LLM known as Megatron 3 is trained on mainly further data than GPT-3, but doesn't outperform OpenAI's platform in testing, as evidence that bigger isn't always better in the realm of AI. Perfecting the effectiveness of the algorithm would reduce the running cost of GPT-4 and, presumably, ChatGPT. This will be a pivotal factor if it's going to come as extensively used as the most popular search engine as some prognosticate. GPT-4 will be better at generating computer code. One of the most impressive features of ChatGPT and thus GPT-3 is its capability to induce not just mortal languages, but computer languages too. This means that it can fluently produce computer code in a variety of programming languages, including JavaScript, Python, and C++, three of the languages most generally used in software development, web development, and data analytics. Earlier this year, news broke that OpenAI was actively hiring programmers and software developers and specifically, programmers with capability in using human language to describe what their code does. This led many to predict that future products, including GPT-4, will push AI even further to break even further boundaries when it comes to generating computer code.
This could lead to more powerful versions of tools such as Microsoft's GitHub Copilot, which currently uses a fine-tuned version of GPT-3 to improve its ability to turn natural language into code. GPT-4 won't add graphics to its capabilities. There had been some speculation that the next evolution of generative AI would involve a combination of the text generation of GPT-3 with the image creation abilities of OpenAI's other flagship tool, DAL-E2. This is an exciting idea because it brings the possibility that it would have the ability to turn data into charts, graphics, and other visualizations. Functionality missing from GPT-3. However, Altman denied that this was true and said that GPT-4 would remain a text-only model. Some people will be dissatisfied by GPT-4. When commodity causes as important excitement as GPT-3 has done, there's an ineluctability around the fact that the coming duplications may not feel so groundbreaking. After all, formerly, we've been amazed by a computer writing poetry. Are we going to be as amazed many times laterly by a computer writing slightly better poetry? This is a sentiment that's indeed been expressed by Altman himself, who said in an interview in January, The GPT-4 rumor mill is a ridiculous thing. I do not know where it all comes from. People are soliciting to be disappointed, and they will be. So, what do you think? Is ChatGPT-4 going to have the same success? Please let us know in the comments below.